So I think probably the biggest advantage to TiVo is tolerability. So it's a very clean drug, um, just hits VEGF pretty much, um, has, a, <clears throat> again, just a really good tolerability profile in terms of side effects and need for dose reduction or interruption is very minimal. So I think one thing where my mindset has changed now that we have immune therapy combinations that can be curative is that when we're using single agent TKIs, we're really just trying to control disease. Um, and because we're not curing those patients and that they could be on for many months to years, tolerability is really the key thing. I frankly don't think there are huge efficacy differences among the TKIs. There are some. I mean, TiVo is better than serafinib in, in the TiVo 3 trial, et cetera. So there are some. But at the end of the day, I think, in my opinion, um, it's really more about tolerability. I mean, patients appropriately always want more options, right? I've never met a patient who doesn't look down the road a little bit and say, gee, doc, if this one doesn't work, is there something else, right? I totally get it. So I think, you know, even though we on the medic, on the physician side might, you know, some people might say, gee, do we really need another TKI? I can tell you from a patient standpoint, they absolutely want more options. And, and having, having a tolerable option, especially in this late line setting, I think is a potential advantage for patients, right? We, I, I often describe to patients that we're just trying to get as many shots on goal as possible. Right, you never know when one drug might work wonderfully or not at all. Uh, even among the VEGF TKIs, they they work differently in different patients for reasons I don't think we understand. So I, I think I think it adds just to our our weapons in this disease.